Hello family, we thank God for his mercy, for his goodness. Today we conclude our prayer for Russia and I'm thankful to God for seeing us through. It's only by his grace. Before I pray, the passage of scripture I want to read is Acts 17, 26. It says, and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place. God, we thank you so much. Make of the heavens and the earth, you to whom all power and might belongs. As the songwriter says, you are the one who set the boundaries of even the oceans, Lord, so that the ocean knows how far it can go and it knows it cannot go beyond a certain boundary. And if it does, it is because you give the oceans the permission to do so. We acknowledge that God, all power and might belongs to you. We acknowledge, O oh God, that you are the make of all creation, including all of mankind. With all the different tongues, languages and tribes, you made us, O oh God. And so we thank you that you gave us this opportunity to pray for the nation of Russia. For some of us, oh God, who've been listening to this podcast, agreeing with me in prayer, we've never even set foot in that nation before. And some of us may not even know anybody who lives in that land. But God, we yielded ourselves in obedience to your word. We prayed with all kinds of prayer, all kinds of petitions. Father, for the people of Russia, and Lord, we thank you that you even gave us this opportunity. For your word says that the effective fervent prayer of the righteous avails much, and so we know that every prayer we have prayed, O God Almighty, will yield great and mighty results because we prayed not in our own strength, but in your strength, and we were led by your Spirit, who knows your hearts, your mind, for the people. So we want to say thank you God. Thank you, thank you, thank you that you would even count us worthy to be people that you use to stand in the gap for another group of people. We want to honor you God for answers of God that has already taken place Father God physically and those of God that are yet to take place but have already become through. As far as your spirit is concerned, the answer has come, but we're yet to see it in the, in the physical. We want to thank you for those also. We want to thank you that in the weeks and months to come, we will hear in the news reports that will let us know that, Lord, you indeed heard our prayer and that you're working. For your word makes us know that nothing is impossible for you, God. That though we often cannot see it, as the song says, God, you're always working and you're even working right now. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God, for answers to prayer, for what you're doing in Russia, what you're yet to do, to the praise and glory of your holy name. Thank you, O God Almighty, for the people that you have set aside as a remnant in that nation. Who do your bidding day and night. Thank you for the outpouring of blessings, O God Almighty, upon their lives and that which you're yet to bring to them. And thank you, God, for the many souls that are yet to come, even to the saving knowledge of Christ. But we thank you that, Jesus, you will bring in that harvest of souls, that many, 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 many people in Russia who have shut their minds and their hearts to the message of the gospel will seek you. And when they seek you, they will find you and you will reveal yourself to them. And some may not even be seeking you, but you will still reveal yourself to them because you're a loving God. You're a loving Father. So we want to thank you, O oh God. And we want to thank you that even as we have obeyed you, we also have received our blessings and will continue to be blessed, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse in Romans 8, 37. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors 
and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us so much that he died for us. We're now going to personalize it by saying, Yet in all these things I am more than a conqueror and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved me so much that he died for me. The Lord bless you and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen.